I'm Greg Joseph. I'm a drummer and composer. I live in Brooklyn, New York, and this is my record, Drop the Rock. It took decades of therapy. I just had a lot of fear and emotional blocks that I needed to work through. The metaphor is Drop the Rock, is that we are drowning in a lake or some body of water, and there are people around us at the shore who can help us, and we call out to them, help, help, I'm drowning, and they say, drop the rock. And we say, no, no, help me. And the rock represents all these things. It could be, you know, resentments, it could be fear. I recorded this with Larry Goldings on organ, Steve Cardenas on guitar, and it was produced by Henry Hay. This was a real dream project for me to get to play with these two incredible musicians. Larry Goldings is the, the organ player that I knew that I wanted. I've wanted to play with him for 30 years since I first heard him play. There was this one moment on the record where we were playing a blues, and I just I could not believe it was happening. I had spent so many years playing along to him on records, and to just have this moment of, uh, oh my God, I'm, this, is, this is what it feels like to play with Larry Golding. It was probably my favorite part of the whole process. And Steve Cardenas, the guitar player, I first heard him play with Joey Barron. And the first solo I heard him take, I just, I couldn't believe he was so connected to the groove, kind of down here, but up here he could really float above the time. His, his playing was so rooted to the groove. And my first thought was, I want to play with that guy. I think drummers are so used to being supportive musicians. There are not a lot of famous drummer band leaders. And so I think for any drummer to put themselves out in the front of the band does take courage. Having that kind of creative control and having to make those kind of creative decisions is a very vulnerable thing. My father played saxophone and was a, a very good Sinatra-style crooner. One day my father had some musicians over and when I saw the drum set it was just all over. It was just the most amazing thing I'd ever seen. All I did for the next week was play the drums and you know fast forward I've made my living um, you know making people feel good by playing the drum. There are nine songs on the record. Three are written by me, two are written by Larry Goldings, one is my producer Henry Hay. There is a Ray Charles tune, a Joni Mitchell tune, and a tune by Kevin Hayes. You know, just kind of through grace, I was able to, you know, take this thing that had been in the family, but didn't work for me the way my family did it. And I was able to, you know, through a lot of help, um, transform that and find a way to be a band leader in a way that worked for me. The music that I'm interested in is music that feels good in the body, and that's the thing that I'm really passionate about.